I'm really sorry to insult you, but your iPhone is starting to look a little bit small, at least in comparison to these. This is the iPhone 6 with a 4.7 inch display, and this is the iPhone 6 Plus with a 5.5 inch display. Yes, these have got bigger screens, but there's lots more in them too, including new cameras and NFC chips to help you kill your wallet. Both the 6 and the 6 Plus have new Retina HD displays that display far more than you've been able to see on your iPhone 5 or 5S. Like a bigger Android phone, it's great for seeing more of web pages, and Apple's added a special landscape mode for the home screen with the 6 Plus. On both phones, you can move through web pages and emails with swipes on the side. But I really prefer the smaller version for my smaller hands. The 5.5 inch version looks like a small tablet. Look at it! Here it is! All right. Wow, that's really big. It is really big. Look at this comparison to my face. Comparison to old phone. All right, can we turn it on? Yes. Okay. Chris Voss here from the Chris Voss Show. The Chris Voss Show. .com. Hey, guess what? We've got the new gold iPhone 6 Plus. We're going to review it. And of course, we've been reviewing the iPhone 6 today at the AT&T store, so be sure to look at our other videos. Give us a subscribe and a like. Let's get into our review of the iPhone 6 Plus. One thing we wanted to mention on it is the battery that's in the iPhone 6 Plus is definitely nice. It's definitely wonderful to have that much larger battery. It just seems to last forever, and that makes all the difference. So, let's take a look at what we think. Okay, the first thing you're going to notice with the iPhone 6 Plus, and the iPhone 6 for that matter, is it's got these beveled edges, uh, basically taper off in the editing section. You do have camera burst too, which is very interesting, and it's very fast. You can hold it down, boom, 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 look at that baby go. You can bang off a lot of pictures, and it will help you pick the best picture too, which is very interesting. So, uh, there's that feature. There's also the new uh, time lapse. Slow-mo, of course, has been enhanced to, I believe, uh, 240 frames per second. There's the new time lapse thing. It's kind of set up to where it goes at its own speed and takes pictures and stuff. So I uh, haven't got a chance to play with that much, but I am definitely interested in it and how it works. So uh, ov overall, I like the iPhone 6 Plus. It definitely looks very nice. Uh, it's beautifully done. I like how the finish, uh, the gold or the silver or black, goes to both ends. There's no, these white slats on the back, so that made a difference for me in the look of it also and how it worked. Overall, definitely just a beautiful device and a great offering from Apple. And I don't think uh, iOS users or Apple users are going to be disappointed at all with this. In fact, I think it's a wonderful improvement over the iPhone 5 and 5S and the Apple, of course, iPhone 4 and 4S. So there you have it. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, I would get the iPhone 6 Plus if you are in the market for it. I definitely like the 1080p screen. Um, it's not quite as sharp as some of the other screens that I've seen when it comes to PPI, but it definitely does a good job, and the PPI is much better on the uh, iPhone 6 Plus than on the just the plain iPhone 6. So I definitely remember, recommend that you get the full 1080p experience on the iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, it's definitely light, definitely thin, so it doesn't feel as bulky onto your pocket, and maybe that can make a difference for some people that aren't into phablets. But it really is up to your taste and what you want to have it achieve. There's definitely a whole lot more in iOS 8, but we won't really get into that because that's not specific to the iPhone 6 review. Definitely like the phone. So if you're an Apple fan, this is a wonderful offering and it does a great job of putting forth a new phone that's going to kick butt for you. So be sure to give us a like, subscribe to us on YouTube, watch for the reviews we're going to do. We're going to compare this side by side with about 30 other phones that we get from all the major carriers. Thanks for coming by the ChrisFoss Show.com. Be sure to check back in often.